that's um uh that's how you do kind of the layout of a face. I showed you how you can kind of change it to give different expressions and uh different kind of characters of the dragons. And uh so now I'm going to start getting into the scales. Um and one of the main points with the scales is that you need to uh draw use them to draw the focus into the eye. So um We'll just start with a motherly one, and the scales with this one are going to be kind of a little bit softer. Uh, they're going to, I'm going to have, let's see, I'll have uh, just like the feather things kind of going up like this. Just kind of soft. And then just uh, for the uh, rest of the face, I think I'm just going to have like, you know, that kind of scale thing. Like that. They almost look like freckles. <laughs> and I don't, I don't I don't really know how these draw it into the eye. But I'm pretty, like, all these scales really kind of draw it into the eye. And uh, so I think, I think it's okay. Right here. I like to darken in the tips of the beak. And as I come out, get lighter. Uh, let me find my stompy. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, uh, stompies are useful for this type of thing. And then, uh, I'm gonna have some just kind of scales like that right there. And these will eventually go down to make the, uh, scales on the neck. The scoots. They're, on, on a snake, they're called the scoots. And have the body come up right here. And, uh, so, that's how you kind of do the scales for a motherly dragon, I would say. Kind of nice dragon. I can do basically the same thing on this little baby one. So, yeah, now we're going to get into the mean dragon scales. And this is going to be fun. I'm going to do uh, a little bit more detail on the mean dragon. So, we'll also get into teeth. And I'm going to make it a little bit more 3D for this. So, I'm going to draw basically a foreshortened circle right here for the mouth. And it's going to curve up and follow the rest of the, the bottom jaw. And then instead of having the line right there, I'm going to connect it to right there. I think there still will be a little bit of a line right here, though. Just a very small one. And uh, for this line right here, I'm going to have a bunch of bumps. Just like that. Some small, some big. And in between those bumps, I'm going to have the teeth. Curving inwards like an anaconda. Anacondas have them curving inwards so that when they catch their prey, uh, like say, say that they catch your hand or something and you try to pull out, well the teeth just kind of stick in a little bit further and uh, don't let you get out. And so the, the best way to free yourself from an anaconda bite is to push in, open the thing's mouth if you can, and pull out. And on this back row, I'm not going to go into so many, so much detail with the teeth. I'm just going to kind of do this. Uh, draw that right there. And of course, I'll have like the dark shadow back there coming out and gets less dark as it goes I'm still gonna darken in just very slightly the rest of the mouth though mouth sorry like that and then of course on this top row it needs some teeth so just 
I'm not going to worry about the gums with this one. Just going to kind of do some jagged teeth. And if you can see the mouth, then you're not just going to see this part of the brow like that. You're going to be able to see it coming like this. And the horn is going to be on the other side. Alright, so... I'm going to erase most of this line. Just going to kind of leave it light for part of it. Right there. And uh, I need to make sure to take this down and, and put it right there. And not end it. Don't end it where uh, this ends. End it down here so that it looks like that is actually on uh on this on this side if you know what i mean that way you can tell if uh you can you can tell that this is in the middle and you're seeing a little bit of the like the other side of the dragon for the eye um i'm going to have scales kind of going like this Having that little line right there, and then right where the brow is, they're going to have another corner. And then go in for the little indent right there uh, at the brow. Come back up for the other part of the brow. And another one right here. And as they kind of as they go back, they're gonna start to get a little bit a little bit smoother, like that. And then and they're gonna just keep on going around the eye. And then finally, they're just gonna kind of stop at that line right there. And so. And they're just going to kind of like come in from, from that line and go back. And they're going to start to get a little bit more squarish again. They're going to go like that. Come back out, like right there. Come out. And I don't know if this looks like the best in the world, but... Um, yeah, so... Um... I need them, inst instead of kind of following up like that, I need them to uh, kind of go down to where the horn starts. And uh, you, you, I, I actually don't like the setup very much. So I'm going to stop them going around the eye right there until I, like just right there, I'm gonna stop making them go to the eye. Then right here, I am going to just make them kinda start right there. And they're gonna start to go out a little bit and get a little bit more squarish. I think that looks a little bit better. Then they're gonna start to go and turn kind of like that and the next one is going to be right here and uh, I'm just going to kind of run my eraser over it because I have a lot of messy dark lines so I'm going to just kind of lighten them up But I'm not pressing hard, so it's not actually, uh, uh, it's not actually erasing it completely.
And uh, I believe dragons are real, at least they uh, they used to be, or some something like dragons are real, because the uh, in the Bible in Job there is this chapter, uh, the the forty one chapter of Job, uh, it talks about this creature called the Leviathan. I don't know if any of you guys have read that, but uh, I found it and I was ecstatic because it sounds exactly like a water dragon. And so, if, you know, I, I was just ecstatic. It says that flames come, in, come out of its mouth, it has scales, so some people think that it's just kind of like a water crocodile or something. I think that it's a dragon. So, yeah, uh, right now I'm gonna kind of come in... Coming out and starting this smaller horn right here. And this this isn't looking perfect to my eye right now. And, uh... And, uh... It's... It's okay, because, like, the, you know, it's scales and it's also natural, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And, uh... But, you know, I, I think it looks cool. And it's just practicing. I haven't really done it this way yet. But this is just one of this, you know, this is how you learn how you get scales that you like. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping on doing this because I, I, I think it's pretty good. Um, and I just realized that I need a line through the middle of this where the points are. Because if it's going to be kind of square scale,